Excel charts are the perfect way for analyzing data, making plans, and many more predictive steps. What if it gets better with a visual setting? That too in a form of 3D bubbles differing in sizes based on the comparison of their values. If you were thinking how deliverable this is, within the end of the video, you will be amused how creative Excel chart options can get. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. Here we have a data set with records of 6 items. Within their cost versus quantity coordinate chart, we will get bubbles sized based on sales value. And we can learn how to create a 3D bubble chart in Excel. We will cover this in three steps in the process we have used Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here we can see the item names and their quantity. As you can see that cost and sales values are pre-formatted into accounting format. Now we will add a chart for these. Now let's select C5 to E10. Now go to Insert tab. From the Charts group, click on Scatter dropdown. From the Bubble section, choose the second one. Let's move that here. Now let's change our chart title into Cost versus Quantity versus Sales. There we are. To organize the chart, let's click on it. Now select the bubbles, right click on them and click on Format Data Series. As we get the Data Series section on the right side of our screen, under the Series option, click on Fill and Line. Go to Fill. Now select Vary Colors by Point. And we can see that we are getting bubbles in different colors. In case you want some other color, we can just select bubbles individually and choose different colors for them. Like that. Now let's close the section. Now from the chart elements, click on it, select data labels and choose the arrow to select more options. Now we are redirected to format data labels section. Here from the label options, choose label options drop down and go along with value from cells. Now for data label range, let's select B5 to B10. Okay, now we can see that our bubbles are showing us item names along with their cost values. Deselect Y value and add bubble size. Now we can see the sales value here. Make sure that there is a check mark for show leader lines. Let's close this here. Let's position this a little away from the bubbles so that it's easier for us to follow. There we are. Now from here, we can also add axis titles. And here, let's type cost followed by quantity. And we can even increase our chart size like that. Now it looks better, right? You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website excelnemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.